We're all here because I was in, I, uh, this actually came together uh, like a week before Christmas. I was driving to a basketball game that I was going to ref. And I looked down at my phone and I have a message on LinkedIn. And somebody out of the blue says, hey, we want you to come to Las Vegas and, and, and present to us. And I was scared. That doesn't happen very often. Because I'm, I'm used to being in front of large crowds that hate me, that half hate everything that I do all the time. So, but, um, so my name is, so this is me. I am Bill Wagner. I am the Chief Relationship Officer for Esports Labs. There's the website if you want to check that out. Um, side projects, I have many. Uh, what I really enjoy doing is writing and interviewing people from all over the globe. And I do mean all over the globe. One of my favorite interviews that I've ever done, um, I talked to the first, I talked to the owner of the first recognized esports organization in, uh, in, 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 uh, uh, Zambia. I actually had a discord conversation with with a woman who was the co-owner of the first professional esports organization in Zambia. It was freaking awesome. I love that sort of thing. Uh, if you want to connect with me, that's always always welcome. LinkedIn, LinkedIn and Twitter is where I hang out. Some of the writing that I do that doesn't fit on the Game House. Um, the Game House is a site that's focused on esports as well as um, as well as um, other sports, basketball. Baseball, soccer, football, things like that. But I write a lot of a lot of stuff on Medium as well. I've been a fast pitch umpire for 20 years this spring. In fact, that's the main reason I'm down here in the first place. I was I was working some game, some college fast pitch games out at at a Majestic Park. So so I've actually been here since last last Wednesday. And I've I'm also a a also. A, also a basketball referee for 13 years, and I, I actually dealt blackjack. wasn't in it wasn't actually in Las Vegas that I did that, but I I spent about about 10 years doing that. So just a fast blurb: esports labs. So we are a a a a a gaming startup company. We're building a blockchain based based network of tools for organizations and brands. Uh, what that looks like is we have four major pieces of, of that brands can plug into to engage, engage engage gamers. We have a tournament platform. Excuse me. We have a tournament platform. We have a store. We have a streaming content platform, and we also have sort of a LinkedIn platform that we're working on. The idea is to bring as many tools under uh, a one umbrella um, as, uh, as possible. Feel free to email me. The email's right there. Email me with questions, things, things that you wonder about. I'm always open to those. Right now, this, this is one of the games that, that has partnered with us. Um, we just ran an event the, this last past weekend. We're going to be running an ongoing league, ongoing league with the Mutant Football League. They have signed an exclusive... They have signed an exclusive agreement with us. Very honored to have these guys. Uh, if you remember the name, it's actually from uh, an old game from the 90s off of the, uh, off the Genesis. So that's where that comes from. But the reason why you're all here is this. Now, the next great game has not been invented yet. And and that's 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 not to say that what's out there is horrible. What's out there is great, but gaming in general, the 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 genres are pretty defined, and and it you, you have shooters, you have you have your strategy games like like StarCraft, you have card games, you have you. you you, 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 you have variations within the, the genres. And people in general don't like vastly new ideas. People don't like to go from 1 to 2 to 14. They, they like to go from maybe 1 to 2 to 5, maybe 6. So taking large leaps and being really bringing in new ideas is, is often hard because gamers 
are extremely, extremely temperamental people. And, and when they have something that they like, they don't like, they don't want it to be screwed with too much, but they want changes, but they don't want too many changes. Anyway, um, but, but the next great game that I hope one of you, one of you does, I really do. I hope one of you does it. It hasn't been invented yet. And in, in order to do that, it, there are a lot of factors that, 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 how do I phrase this? There are a lot of things out there that have an effect on what you do and you, and you honestly don't have any control over them. Um, so if you notice on the bottom left right there, relationships and, 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 and timing. So if you remember, <clears throat> Steve Jobs is very famous for what, what he did and people love the iPad. People love, love the crap out of the iPad. Steve Jobs didn't actually um, invent that. Bill Gates invented the, uh, he, he actually invented the, uh, the whole concept, but when he, when he created it, he knew we don't have the computing power right now to do this the right way. Steve Jobs came along with Apple and he took the idea. He had the right time, he had the right development crew, and he had the iPad. Now, so I'm of the opinion that the next great game, you guys won't actually make the game. And, and I don't want you to take that as me saying that you can't. What I'm saying is the idea, the, the, the idea that will change gaming as it, as, it, as it is right now, as it stands, will come from outside of gaming. Um, gamers in general, like I said, they're extremely, extremely temperamental. They want new stuff, but they don't. And they want things back. I, I still get people that talk about uh, the old, uh, the, uh, I, I still have people that, that recall fondly the old, old Call of Duty days. We're talking, uh, talking, uh, 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 modern warfare days. And they always, whenever a game comes out, you know, it, it isn't as good as this game was or as this game was. So people in general have a problem with new ideas. But when I say, when I say from outside the, the industry, what's gonna happen is this. And I've seen this, I've seen, seen enough, I've talked to enough people that's, that, ha, that lead me to believe that AR and VR is, is uh, the next thing. AR and VR. Now, AR and VR are extremely development, uh, 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 um, what should I say? They're extremely a development a heavy when it comes to cost. I, uh, one, of the, one, of the, one, of the, one of the best games that I saw, I, I actually talked to the owner. She, she, she made this game called War of the AI. Great game. You played it on your phone. It's actually pretty cool. Whoops. What did I do? Oh, I know I did. There it is. Um, she, 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 she had a great development team behind her. She had all these accolades. She had a ton of people that loved it, but she ran out of cash. She ran, she ran out of money. And people don't work for free. You, 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 it's one of those things that you cannot get good devs without cash. I know that you guys all have to eat. I have to eat. So doing things for free, you can only do it for so long. The hardware costs are extremely high right now. So what does that mean? For, for, so for, for, from a business standpoint, from a business standpoint, the, 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 the cost of processes tends to go down over time, but you have to invest money and, and get smart people to go through the um, iterations, and that takes time. Well, what are two industries that have the most cash right now? You talk in the medical field and the... Uh, a uh, 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 military. Those are two. Those are two of the most well-funded industries out there. So when you think of think of think of AR and VR, and you think of the a uh, 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 medical field, what first springs springs to mind for me is this: Imagine training surgeons to perform operations without actually having to to to. to uh, 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 Imagine training surgeons without actually having to cut into somebody. 
that you have you have a you have a a strongly developed VR program you can train a surgeon. Now at some point you're going to have to actually do it. But if you can save the money and save the time by training with VR, just think about that for a minute. So you can lower the cost of what it takes to train someone. Same with VR. Now when it comes to come to come to come to come to come to Come to the military. Same concept. They they're always trying to find ways to make their troops bigger, faster, stronger. That means they go through a lot of money and a lot of ideas. Well, what happens? What happens to all those old ideas that like sounded good in the moment, but when you actually do it, when you actually try to make it work, it doesn't serve the original purpose. All the old ideas can be can be taken by smart people like you and you can do what you do and you can turn it into an awesome new game. And the cost of doing that comes down because smart people with a lot of money have already gone through the process of trying to make it work and they bring down the resources and the availability. And that's where I feel like that the, the idea for the next great game is going to come. And it's going to be on your phone. And it's it's hard to deny, and I, I get into this conversation with people when you when you talk about console gaming versus versus PC gaming. I grew up on the Atari 2600, so I know what that's like. Um, <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. I grew up on the Atari 2600. I I, I actually owned one. I, I'm old enough to remember my grandparents um, they didn't actually own their phone. They they had a landline phone that they paid a monthly fee for. So it's for people younger than about 40, you have no idea what I'm talking about, but that's okay. <laughs> but, but here's the thing. I remember a time when you had to go to the library. You had to go to the library to find out anything. Right now, you hold, you hold access to the sum total of all human knowledge in your hand. That's amazing. So as things become smaller and faster and stronger, being able to act, being able to do things on your phone, which is basically where everybody lives right now, is going to be extremely important. Now, here's the part that is often hard to hear when I talk to people about about what they do. Ideas are great. Ideas are cheap. Everybody has them. What matters is the execution. Can you create the results? So when I stood here and I said, "We, you know, esports labs is a blockchain, blockchain uh, concept with tools." Okay, that sounds great. Our job is now to make it happen, and it 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 and the results matter. Ideas are great. Execution is better. Your game, in order for it to work, you have to have a baseline baseline product that somebody sees loves in the moment and goes yeah you know if you did this and added this functionality i'd love i'd love the crap out of it and then you just so you have a viable product that you start somewhere with but one of the problems and and, and i can say this because i actually a couple of years ago i went through a course online i learned how to code took some html css a little bit of of uh, 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 of uh, 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 some other languages, I other languages. I tried to learn uh, React and failed miserably at it. Um, that devs in general, you spend a lot of time in front of your screen solving problems because it's your game or this is your project. But the lone genius mentality has got to die. It's got to go away because you cannot, as a game developer, you cannot. It's physically impossible for you to spend time on the game itself and do your backgrounds and your characters and your mechanics, as well as handle all the outreach for the business and the social media and your staff. You, you just can't. You need a team around you to make that happen. The lone genius mentality has just got to die. It drives me nuts whenever I see it. And in order to get those results, you have to listen to people. And you have to drill down beyond what they think they want. Like I said, gamers are some of the most crazy people that I've met. They say they want one thing, and they want it like 
five seconds after they ask for it when you're like, no, the dev process and this is going to take at least three months to code and another three months to test and you want it next week, that's not how this works. Um, so, 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 so you have to listen. You have to listen to what people say, but take what works. Take what works. And your game will be successful. Your game will be successful, but you have to be useful to somebody who doesn't really who doesn't do what you do. You have to be useful to them. So that's right down that's right there. Be useful. Your worth to an investor is grounded in is grounded in what you can do for them, solving a problem for them. How do you prove that? You, you seriously have to give first. And that's hard for a lot of people to do. You spend a lot of time on a project. You, you spend a lot of time making and, and, and creating what's in your heart and your soul. And somebody comes along and goes, that isn't what I want out of this game. I'll give you money, but you got to fix that. And you're like, that's the one thing that I don't want to change. But you still have to sell your game and you still have to eat. Um, I always... I always say to people, whenever they ask me for advice on how to be noticed online, I say, the answer is content. That's a very broad term. Content is a lot of things. Content is video. Content is writing. Content is social media. I can tell you 100% of the reason that I'm standing here right now is just simply the fact that I used the available tools that I had that were 100% free to make content online written platforms that were free, social media that was free. I spent $100 on uh, some software so that I could uh, record my screen. I bought some headphones that, that I, and then I just reached out to people and I gave them time. Now, you do all of this, you, you, all this great advice. You have all these ideas. Now, you really only have to answer one thing for people, your investor, yourself, your, your audience, and that is why, why, why your game, why you, why this company, why should anybody care? Now that it's, it's, it's this, it's this, it's a very simple question with a lot of answers. So, um, I, I always recommend these two books to people. I try not to get too deep and too complex about stuff. But the first one on the uh, right up there, No One End Understands You, No One Understands You is a great book. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, really a, it's really a long essay about your relationship to people who have money and a, a, a power. That's really all it is. How do you relate to people with money and power? And it boils down to be useful. You have to understand their personality. You have to understand the, the problems that they solve on a daily basis. If you can help them solve problems, and I'm not just talking one, I'm talking multiple problems here, you will get seen. It might take some time, but you will get seen. But my favorite book is the one on the left. So I know that devs in general are very very fact-based people. When you are writing code, it's pretty straightforward. You have your errors, you fix your errors. Certain languages require certain, certain syntax. People don't buy your stuff because of how it's coded. They buy your game because of how it makes them feel. Then they go back after the fact and they find facts that verify how they feel, okay? Feelings will sell your product a heck of a lot faster than anything else. That's why things that seem the simplest sell the best because it connects with a core need, a core feeling that everybody has. And once you can lock into that feeling, people will find just about any fact that they, that they, that they want to, to be able to justify how they feel. So, Three whys that you have to answer. Why are you different? Why are you different? There are 10,000 other people right now out there that have your exact idea. I guarantee you.
I, I, I run into a, a lot of people who tell me, oh, I had this great idea. I, I, I haven't seen it anywhere else on the internet. I, I have. And I tell them that. No, you need to find this guy and this guy. And this person, she's got it. She's already ahead of you. Sorry. So how are you better? How do you prove that? Second thing, why should an investor care about your game? There are 12,000 other members of the, there are 12,000 members worldwide of the IGDA. Actually, actually uh, 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 when I was, this presentation, I actually looked it up. So why, why should an investor care when there's other people, maybe they're more talented, maybe they're, easier to get along with? I don't know. But why, why should an investor care? And, and the hardest question of all, why should gamers care? And why should they stay that way? Why do, what? Gamers will try almost any game, but getting them to come back two times, nine times, 10 times is really, really hard. I don't follow Gary V very much. But one of, one of his quotes that, that has always stuck with me is, is that we are in a competition for, we are in an ongoing going, going competition for attention. That's, what, that's really what everybody wants. Game, whether you sell games or you sell soda or you sell rocks, you just want attention. If you can get someone's attention long enough, then you have them. Now, I, I am all about solutions. I, I, I don't like to present problems without a solution. So three ways to find your why. What is going on here? Why is this a problem? Come on, there we go. Three ways to find your why. One, you have to build relationships. Your success as, your success as a game developer. Not working, removed. Uh-oh. Your success as a game developer. There we go. Come on, there it is. Okay. Your success as a game developer is, whoops, that's not what I want yet. Your success as a game developer is very much about your game. But it's more about the people that you know, people that you know to talk about your game. The more third-party verification that you can get about your game, the better off you're going to be. So start telling your story right now right now, in this moment. Get on Twitter, get on Instagram, start. Start right now. Start, you need to start, start, start talking about it. Give back even when you think that you, that you don't have anything to give. That's 100% of the reason that I'm here right now. I didn't think I had anything of value when I started doing this. I really didn't. But when, but, but when I realized that the one thing that people value the most is attention, that's really it. If you give someone your attention, that's what they value the most. And so I started writing about other people. I started talking to other people and with, started with one simple question. Would you like to talk to me about what you do? That's it. Everybody's favorite subject I mean, is themselves. Everybody's favorite subject is themselves. And getting other people to talk about themselves is actually pretty easy to do. Be honest. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself. Especially when it comes to working by yourself. I know it's hard to trust people. I've been burned many, many times. I, I, I have, it's, 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 it's easy to think that everybody's out to, out to get you. It's really easy to think that. Be honest with yourself about what you're trying to accomplish. Be honest with yourself about your skills. I saved, I still have it. The very first post that I wrote online, November 24th, 2014, I wrote it on LinkedIn. It's the most horrible, horribly written piece of garbage that I've ever seen in my life. It reads like an, it, it doesn't read like an actual blog post. It reads like an um, English paper and it just, it's just the absolute worst. But the thing is, I, I keep hanging on to it. Oh, this is not working, but I keep hanging on to it simply because I want to remind myself of where I was 
back in November of 2014 and where I am now. There we go. And be honest about your goals. I mean, if you want to be, I mean, if you want to be the next uh, 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 Call of Duty, that's fine. But, 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 but if you want to do that, it's it's one of those things. You have to be honest with yourself. That company, when it comes to, comes to, comes to, comes to Activision, they've been around a long time. They have all sorts of credibility. They spent a ton of money. You want to take them on. I wish you all the luck in the world. I want you to do it. I really do. But those, but the, but those guys have been doing it for years. They have tons of tons of people behind them that are that that, that are uh, 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 personally uh, 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 invested in them. I don't know if you've heard of a game called um, Insurgency Surgency uh, 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 Sandstorm. Surgency Sandstorm. I've actually talked to the dev team and the guys, and they put in a ton of work. Insurgency is, is a really good game that that uh, 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 people love. People play it. I played it at um, E3. It's a great game. But people go back to what they know, and they know Call of Duty very, very well. It's 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 it's, it's it, you know. <laughs> You know, I I originally got into gaming um, back in, wow, oh, with my kids back in 2000, and we played Call of Duty together. That's how we grew up. We played zombies. So, though, so be honest with yourself. And the third and the third one, uh, I'm sure you saw, is you have to build a great team. The lone wolf mentality has just got to die. It's got to go away. And. <sighs> You, you will hear people. They will. They will. They will always give you the uh, um, emotional argument when it comes to working with other people. The 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 factual uh, factual a uh, business case for having a good team boils down to this: you need distribution. In the end, when it comes to ideas, the faster you get your idea in front of people, the better off you're going to be. Um, the best example that I can think of think of right now is um, is, um, is um, Amazon. That's all Amazon is. They're just, they don't make anything. They invest in things, but Amazon is about distribution. It's all Amazon does. The more people that see your game, the better off you are. Scroll down to number 12 here real quick and get to number 12 so I get my notes. <laughs> so I always say this. I put that up. There you go. And this, this is something that I say to people all the time. Everyone's a genius in their own basement. Everyone's a genius by themselves sitting in front of their screen, whether on Facebook or Twitter. Everyone's a genius in their own, uh, own basement. It's... But when your ideas see the light of day, awesome, 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 guys, thanks. When your ideas see the light of day, that is the best test of who you are. Um, I, I, I remember when I started off as an umpire. This was back in 2000. And um, it, being told that you're the, the worst person that they've ever seen and going to sleep that night and getting up the next day and doing it all over again. And it, that's hard. And I get it. I've been, I've been an umpire for, 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 for like I said, for, I've been an umpire this spring for, 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 for uh, 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 20 years, 20 years as an umpire is a long time. I've seen history. I, I experienced history as an umpire. I don't know if any of you remember 2008 girl hits a home run over the fence, she misses first base. She goes back to touch first base, and her, her, she, her, her knee just explodes. And the defense picked her up and carried her on the base. I don't know if I, if I actually saw that, but it, it's staying with the course and and persevering and be, being strong and being a, being willing to put yourself in front of people. And, you, and, and, and it's awesome to be able to experience those sorts of things. So as we're getting ready to wrap this up, um, I always know that the 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 awesomest part of any talk is 
isn't me necessarily saying anything. It's uh, um, your questions. So, so we'll do this, and then we'll get to some questions. I, my whole thing is about being useful to people. So I want to be useful to you. So my offer to you is this. I have access to websites and, and, and to, to people where if you want a published audio or written interview about who you are and what, and what your game is, I got you covered. I'll do that for you. No problem. You can reach out to me via email or on social media. I'm always willing to chat with people about their game, who they are, are and what they do. Um, and I would not be a, I, I wouldn't have the conversation with that esports org founder across the world if it wasn't for that. I, I will literally talk to almost anybody. Two, I will talk to you and have a, have a conversation about your idea. I will talk to you and I will work to give you a different perspective. I know that when you're in, when you're knee deep in something, when you when you got the code and it's 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 in your brain from the time you get up to the time you time you go to sleep and you dream about it and it, it shows up in shows up inside your head. I'm happy to talk about the viability of your ideas and your concepts anytime you like. Three. I connect people with ideas and ideas with people. It's, it's one of the things that I enjoy doing. I want everybody in this room, and I say this in, with 100% honesty, I want everybody in this room to succeed. If you, if, you, if, you, if you have your own game that you want to do, or if you want to work for um, Activision, or if you want to meet other people like yourself, I will do everything that I can, that I know how, to put you in front of those people. I want you to succeed. There's enough space, there's enough room in this industry, in this world, for everybody to be successful. Four, I'll be completely honest with you. I will, be, I will bring energy. That's pretty much what I do these days. I talk to a lot of people. Um, I will be honest with you and authentic. Um, some of my best friends that I've ever had in my life, when I met them, I hated their guts because they just said mean things to me all the time. But I also know that I kept going back to them because they were straight with me. They were completely straight with me. And if I valued the goals that I said that I did, then I would hang around people who, when I did well, they would give me high fives. But when I did not do well, they would tell me, you need, you need to handle your mess. Um, I would not, like I said, I would not be an umpire for 20 years and a referee for 15 if I didn't have people like that in my life. I wouldn't be standing in front of you right now if I didn't have people that when they saw my interviews and they saw my stuff, they didn't go, Bill, this, this sucks, man. You gotta be better than this. This is a pile of garbage. And then five, I'm always open to having a conversation about, uh, about, about going deeper. I'm always, I, I'm, I, you know, my job, like I said at the beginning, I, I'm about relationships and connecting with people. I'm, if, if, if your game, if your idea fits with our vision, let's chat. Let's, let's see what works. I've talked to tons and tons of people. Most of the time it doesn't work. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it does. So thank you everybody. Like I said, that's the beginning. Thanks everybody for having me. Larry and Gunner and also, 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 also Connor. Um, it's really an honor to uh, be here. I, I, this is the first one of these that I've really done and, and I've really enjoyed being with, being here in front of everybody. So whatever questions you have, I will I will answer them the best I can. Thank you very much. Questions. questions right here for Connor. There you go. Right here for Connor's got one. Yes, got it. Okay. So th this is sort of a question, but also uh, predicated by a comment. Um, Bill wrote the first article on me regarding game development and my company ever. And uh, it was such a special experience when that happened. Um, and still, when you Google my name, it's like the first thing that comes up. Oh, wow, and really? Yeah, it is. Yeah, <laughs> it's such a killer resume piece. But um, That's awesome. what, what Bill's saying about interviewing you, 
uh, about what you're doing with game development or your game that's coming out, take him up on that because he is an amazing writer as well. And I've watched his process work where I'll be like, Thank yeah, you. you know, the game's Thank about you. Pharaoh and, you know, it's kind of a role-playing game. And he's like this, like, thesaurus where he's like, well, okay, no, we'll say it like this. And, and he ties it in the industry in some unique way. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely a fan and Thank definitely you, indebted Thank to Thank you very you. much. Um, my question is uh, Bill the Conqueror. Bill the Where Conqueror. does that name come from? <laughs> Bill the Conqueror. Well, I came up with that name. Um, I, I so I I'm not I'm not a fan of fan of uh, uh, of people who 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 are who people who 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 are who are who are who are, who are, who are motivational speakers, but a, but Tony Robbins has good stuff. And one of the things he told me that, or one of the things he said that has stuck with me for the longest time is everything you want is on the other side of fear. Everything you want is on the other side of fear. So you have to conquer that fear. And, and you know, I, it's, it's, it's blatantly obvious and it's okay to, to talk about it because it's there. I have a speech problem and that's okay. Everybody has their thing. So I call my I, I I I say that on I call myself that on lines because I set out each day for whatever the fear is I I have to conquer it. I don't have a choice if I want the stuff that I say that I want I have to go out and do that otherwise I just sit in my office and be mad all the time so <laughs> that's all that's all there is to that but yeah thank you thank you very much for the kind words too thank you. <laughs> Hello. Uh, um, hello. My question. My name is Kevin, by the way. Hi, Kevin. My name. My question uh, is: Why is game development so age restricted? In that, why isn't it as supported in high schools? Like this kind of stuff. Right. This would be beneficial if you're trying to start young. Okay. So, in order for something to be useful in a school. There has to be some sort of a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a some 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 sort of a business case for it. And up until about five years ago, there wasn't a business case for just for just game development. There was a there was a business case for other other languages, JavaScript, things like that, because you can make apps with that. Now, with esports exploding and, and all the investment, plus when you have colleges that are now offering scholarships for Overwatch and Fortnite and Call of Duty and League of Legends, now schools are like, oh, wait a minute, we better start investing in this. So I've talked to a lot of college administrators who don't get it. And I, and I tell them one thing. Gamers who go to college tend to be focused on 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 STEM subjects. You want STEM students. You want them. They're some of the most focused people you will ever meet. They're intelligent. They are well-adjusted. And you want some, but you want to be able to say that, that you, with your esports program, whatever game you play, Overwatch or something, you, you've, you've contributed to the education of all these people in science. Schools want that. So now you're going to see high schools because doing this, there's, there's three high school leagues I can think of off the top of my head. And EGF. There's, yeah, there's, e, there's, there's the um, EGF. There's also a, a new company that just got funded last year. They launched this fall. It's called, uh, called, 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 called Play VS. They just launched, launched in, in uh, five states. So it's it's going to happen. So it, it it and when you talk about the talk about talk about the when it comes to age, um, and learning to code in general is extremely um in, extremely in intensive. So I learned to code online. I'm not very good at it because I do this now, as you can tell. But it's hard, and you have to be focused at it. So yeah, there you go. Hi. Hello. I had a, uh, a comment first uh, regarding the military and also regarding film. 
the best ideas for film happen outside of film too. The worst ideas for films are just films that are recycled. But yes, for example, I, agree. John, I completely agree. John Wick, the action team was working with a lot of Navy SEALs that were coming back from Afghanistan and they were training their stunt guys with Navy SEALs. And yep. that's when Keanu Reeves was in there and he started using guns. And then the guy who was running 8711 who made the action and directed John Wick brought in all of the military guys. Yeah. And that's why you have John Wick and a huge success that that was. Yes. So yes. that's an example of how military comes around, like you said. Got it. Um, I had a question about uh, investment versus <clears throat> client. So, okay. for example, if you're a uh, if if you're a three D graphics company, or if you're a uh, like a three D rendering house, and if you want to make your own projects, typically what you do is you contract out and you get rendering jobs with commercials and things like that. Why don't people start game development companies like this, or do they? And you just don't hear about it instead so, of seeking investment investment money. Right. The problem with game development right now is that people want, is that gamers want too much uh, 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 free stuff. F so, f so, so, uh, so, 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 uh, so, uh, 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 Fortnite. Fortnite didn't make any money for a while because, because the game itself was free. It was a free game. Where Fortnite started to make, make money was when they started to sell the sell the new new um, emotes and things like that so so it, it, it so this 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 actually goes back to what i said earlier what you're competing for is attention so you in order to get people's attention right now everything that you do has to be a uh, 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 free and so gaining that traction and having an investor who is who's who's patient enough as well as somebody who can see can see the larger picture is really hard to do. So when you have um Hacktivision, they have tons of money because they've been doing it forever. They have all the funds. People want to talk about esports having all this cash. That's all well and good, but esports is locked into into uh into silos and they don't touch the people that play fighting games they don't play sh uh, 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 shooters they, they i mean yes they m m might play some shooters but but people that love fighting games they they play them and and whether you're playing soul caliber soul caliber or street fighter that's where they when, when it comes to the actual 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 cash is spent me spending twenty five dollars to play a game maybe twice a week doesn't work me spending a hundred dollars per month getting new skins for a game you want that passionate fan base but everything right now in esports and gaming is so <laughs> it's just so fragmented you know what I'm saying Hey, Bill. Great talk, by the way. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. So a uh, question about esports in general. Sure. Um, in this day and age, it seems like we have this wide range, right? You have everything from Dota to Overwatch to, I mean, Smash Brothers. There's a whole range, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, I obviously a game that's super successful, right, that has that kind of competitive component that's fun to watch automatically goes to the top of the list. But these are all games that are created by juggernaut companies, right? I'm just curious, is that something that someone from the outside, someone that's an indie developer could even think about, or is it just one of those things that they have to sort of like just, you know, uh, kind of back into by by pure luck, that just a game that, that finds an audience and kind of reaches that level, or is it something that you can actually try and shoot for? So this 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 goes back to the back to the point that I made earlier about distribution. That's in the end what wins. The reason why Overwatch wins is right now is that was a distribution. That's that's really it. There are other shooters like it out there. There, you know, I I, I like um, Insurgency. Um, if you so, I I encourage everybody to to find that game. It has it has a different feel to it than uh, 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 certain other shooters. Um. It's just about finding the passionate fan base and you have to find the right streamer with the right audience to get in front of the right people and you have to give away enough 
codes for the game, but you have to pay the streamer so that, that they will actually stream the game for you. One of the best games that I love right now that is it it's been rebranded recently, but it's called a uh, split gate. Split gate. It's like it's it's like a halo with 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 portals. And it it used to be called uh wormhole wars, but they changed the name and the game a little bit. It's a great game. I love the crap out of it. I've actually played it. But I mean, just the fact that it has an awesome game and you get it in front of streamers, you eventually have to sell the game. You can have competitions, you can you can have tournaments. But it's so hard to get traction because it's so fragmented. If you just stop and think about the number of shooters that are out there right now, Call of Duty, Call of Duty, and uh, 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 all the ones that are out there right now, right now that are that are actually com actually competing for your attention. I love. I don't like Call of Duty in general, what, what it's turned into, but that's just me. I love uh, what I love playing right now. It, what I love, love love playing playing right now is 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 a, is a Destiny Two, simply because my son plays Destiny Two, and he wants to play with me. So guess what? I've been grinding on Destiny Two with the DLC, with the updates, so I can keep up with my son. I love Destiny Two. Destiny Two is this guided story, open sandbox raid thing that you could literally live on. If, if if I didn't have to work and eat and sleep and go to the bathroom, I'd probably be doing that right now because I love Destiny 2. There's just so much to it. So <laughs> it's it's really hard. It's it's hard to get it's hard to get distribution. Do you want five thousand people who love love your game, or do you want to have have twenty five thousand people that like your game and they spend some money on it? It's really hard right now. Anybody else? Yes, sir. Oh, two of them. Sweet. Thank you. So at the beginning of eSports yeah. Labs, um, how did you guys typically fund your projects? How did you guys obtain like loans and stuff like that to <laughs> pay off your... Uh... Yeah. Right now, um, we do it ourselves. We, we're, we, don't, we don't have... A, we, we don't have a major investor. We've been doing it all, all, all ourselves for about the past year. Um, we have a lot of s really smart people um, that have jobs that <laughs> that do other things that have to eat and feed their family. But we also do this. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Okay. So it, it's a, it's 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 a it's it's a right now it's a really strong strong uh, passion project. We. we I've talked to a ton of people who 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 love the idea of gaming and 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 and, and blockchain. Um, there are other companies that are trying to do the do small pieces of it, but the but to fully automate all of it, which is the only way to scale it. You can you can you can have people and people can do stuff to a point. Once you hit a certain point, you have to you you have to make you have to make your processes um, automatic, it's, and it's 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 hard to do. It's hard to do in the moment because one of the great things about esports is that your people that stream and people that play, you can reach out and talk to them. You know, if you have a streamer who has, you know, two hundred thousand followers. You can send him, send that streamer, him or her, it's not something in chat. And if they see it, if you send them five bucks or if you send send them bits, that person responds to you. So you, so this in th this this is something else that is going to be interesting in the next year. Esports and gaming is about uh, uh, a closeness, and you and being able, you know, it, it, I, I went to Amivo. Um, this past year, and I ran into some of my favorite streamers, and I actually got to shake their hand. That's that's an amazing thing to watch somebody 
perform on screen and just be amazed at their skill and then be able to shake their hand and say, you're really good. I like, you know, it's, it's like, you know, you, 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 a, 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 gaming and esports with these processes but it's going to be really interesting how it all how it all works together you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. okay. so how long does it typically take you uh your company to develop a game we don't actually uh, develop games oh okay no we don't actually develop games we we i one of the things i do i sit on twitch just about every night and i go through find streamers and i watch their watch the games they play that is how I found a lot of these. I found, I found a, a, a split gate uh, uh, that way. I, I saw somebody playing it and I watched it. I'm like, this is an awesome game. What the heck is this? And I found streamers and I interacted with them and I actually played the game. Um, so this one streamer, um, who was it? Ace, Ace, um, Ace uh, Dolo. He was, he was playing split gate and he was, he was giving away keys. He gave me one, and I got into the game with him. It's like that. That's like this blows my mind. I get to play a new game with this streamer, and it's just it's it's just an amazing thing. But we don't actually develop them. No, we don't do that. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Thank you so much. Hi. Um, Hi. I, I encountered a game on a phone game that I thought was kind of fun and distracting and, you know, something to do when you're waiting in line at the DMV. Right. Um, they went out of – well, they didn't go out of business, but they discontinued the game. They right. They just shut it off. I contacted them and said, I'd really like to – if you're going to discontinue this game, I'd like to get the code for this game. I think I can repurpose it without any of the intellectual property that you've already established. I'd like to reestablish this game with a completely different uh, kind of IP. They've never contacted me back, obviously. Right. Um, <laughs> I'd like to know how I might be able to try to continue to pursue that because I think that this game, the mechanics behind it, with some slight modifications, I think could still be a really playable fun game um i you know i i suggest wow that's a really interesting question i'd never thought of before um it a lot of a lot of a lot of developers hang out on a, 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 a linkedin but they don't actually use it very often so i would try linkedin uh contacting Trying to contact a company through their website is the worst thing ever. It's the absolute worst thing. They have an email, hey, reach out to us, but we won't actually you know, say anything back to you. Try to find out who was on the dev team because I know that I know when it comes to comes to the devs that I know it. I mean, if they worked on an old project, but they're like, hey, it didn't really work out very well, they're pretty much happy with, you know what? If you want it, take it. I don't want it anymore. I got, I'm doing, I'm doing these other things. So I would try to contact them because then they could steer you in the right direction. You might have to deal with some uh, 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 right. So when you're dealing with 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 a company's old game, there's some there's there's a there's a there's a legal issues to be involved too, but it shouldn't be a problem because if it's an old game they don't want, it shouldn't be a problem. You know what I'm saying? All right. Sure, go ahead.
There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Toya, <laughs> <laughs> you, you killed my father. Prepare to die. <laughs> and prepare to die. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. All right. Anybody else? What? <laughs> No problem. Thanks for having me. Thanks, everybody.